12 p.m. and I slept in. I just woke up about 15 minutes ago and I slept in a lot because we trained late last night and by the time I got home, finished editing everything, it was really late. I got to bed around 3 or 4 a.m. I'm going to try not to make a habit of that. I'm going to try training earlier in the day so I can get proper sleep, get up in the morning. Okay. Peanut butter, oats, and water. Breakfast. This came a lot more. So we had 70 grams of carb, 70 grams of oats. So change the serving size to one gram and number of servings, 70 grams. Nice. And the peanut butter. So we had 40 grams of peanut butter, two servings. So this whole meal comes out to 22 grams of protein, 45 grams of carbs, and 23 grams of fat. So I was supposed to train about an hour and a half ago, but my mate had something come up. So we've postponed it. We might be training in the next hour or something. I do not want to train after 4 p.m. It gets so crowded. It's so annoying, it's, you can't even get the machine. It frustrates me if I can't get the machine that I want. Um, which is why I love training around 12, 1 p.m. or at night, like really late around 9, 30, 10, when there's no one in the gym. But hopefully I'll be training in the next hour or so. I'm just making my protein shake. Oh, uh, just like a little bit of Just fuck it. Yeah, this is <laughs> This is the gym. New gym. Spice and food. <laughs> I wanted to go to the gym and this is where we turned up. What's that? Yep, Shazam here. Shazam. Shazam. Yeah, picture backside. Oh, here, behind you. Oh, I can't see it. <laughs> you want? No, I'm fine, no. Huh? No. Thank you. We're about to go to the gym at exactly five. Is it five yet? I think it's five. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know it's packed when it is? Oh, oh, it's packed. oh no. <laughs> Love it. Unless it's like a, a unless I need the benches. It's not that bad. Yeah. yeah. If I need the benches, then it's hard. But today there's plenty of benches for it. Yeah. Like today is pretty much just getting into the Yeah. It's a little bit. It's M Monday's the busiest man. Monday. Besides Monday, everything is Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and everyone feels bad they do the weekend off because yeah. they come back on Monday. Sunday is the most dead day though. 
So we started off our pre-workout with scissor pull-ups. We did 3 sets of 12. Eventually I want to move on to bodyweight pull-ups. But I did assisted today. And after assisted pull-ups, we did 3 sets of 15 seated cable rows. Really focus on the squeeze, slow the movement down and keep your elbows tucked in. And 2 seconds in and 2 seconds out. And really squeeze when you pull. After that we did uh, 4 sets of 15 machine rows. And we superseted this with 15, set, 15 reps of rope pullovers. So 15 reps of machine rows and then 15 reps of rope pullovers. Really squeezing at the bottom. And this should and highlight your back. So we then did a triple drop set of lat pull downs. So really focus on form. We did 12 reps, we dropped the weight, 12 reps, we dropped the weight again, and then 12 more reps. So go light if you have to, but really focus on form. Don't be swinging too much. We then moved on the back. We did four sets of 15 straight bar curls. Um, try slowing it down as much as you can. Really feel it in your arm. Um, after this we moved on to our last superset, we did easy bar cable curls, superset with rope hammer curls. And this should destroy your biceps. I like keeping constant tension on my biceps without extending out too much. Um, I just feel it more, it's just, it works for me. So after we did biceps, I did 20 minutes of cardio uh, after having my shake. So I like having my shake after weights and before cardio. So this is my second meal. Because I had such a small meal this morning, I have so many calories left over, so I can have something really big and fulfilling. I'm gonna make some pasta. This is my favorite brand of pasta. It has 24.9 grams of protein per serve, which is crazy. Do some tomatoes, chili powder, salt, chili flakes, curry powder, uh, minced garlic, and turmeric but I don't want to use any oil for this so I'm just gonna add in a splash of water on the pan I'm also gonna add some frozen spinach and some broccoli starting to heat up I'm gonna set up another pan for the pasta to cook so I have the kettle boiling. I'm going to use half the water for the pasta and half the water to soften up the broccoli. Because I find whenever I add broccoli straight into this, it doesn't cook. It takes a long time to cook and it's just easy to soften it up with some hot water. And some minced garlic. I love garlic. powder salt so the water is boiling I'm going to add just a little bit of salt and measure out the pasta probably with 200 grams Yes! Diced tomatoes. So we're gonna go to my fitness pal, go to food. Uh, doesn't really matter what you pick. Lunch, barcode, and scan. Okay, now, same thing as this morning. Dry weight, one gram, and 200. Um, so that's 50 grams of protein just from the pasta. 200 grams, half a can, because one can is 400 grams. Makes sense. 200 grams. Done. I don't usually count the macros of the spices or the onions or stuff like that because the calories 
It's so low. It's just pointless. You can if you want. Adding some oregano leaves. Okay. So this is the <coughs> final product. I'm just going to add some chili flakes. It has 52 grams of protein, 109 grams of carbs, and 5 grams of fat. So I got the pasta from Coles. It's not expensive. It's really cheap. It's like, I think I got it for like $2 a packet and there's three serves in a pack and it is amazing but i'm also having organic seaweed so this is a really good source of iron and i'm going to add this to my fitness pal right now this bread soy and toasted sesame um low carb it has 12.3 grams of protein slices so i'm gonna have four slices so two sandwiches i'm gonna make a sandwich press with some tofu and then i'm gonna make a shake a shake with almond milk flax brown seeds cheese seeds and that'll be my final meal for the night You know to drill, add food. The smaller the slices are, the better it'll cook. Hundred seventeen grams. Hundred sixteen. Hundred seventeen. Hundred seventeen. So I'm just gonna use hundred seventeen grams. I'm just gonna change it on my fitness pal. This is how you make tofu last longer. I'm just gonna put some Himalayan salt, chili, and garlic. Put it on a tray and chuck it in the air fryer for about 15 minutes. One second. 15 minutes. Almost done. I've got the bread. I slice up some coconut bar. Gonna put in one serve of chia seeds. Fifteen. Fifteen grams of now this is one of my favorite things ever. This tastes amazing. It's only hundred calories. I'm just going to add one banana because I have a bunch of carbs left over. 93 grams. So 93 grams of banana. So we're going to add that in our tofu is finished. Nice and crispy. So I'm going to add some of this uh, spicy mayo, which is vegan. I'll add this in my fitness pal. One serve. I'm 
mounts on. Now we're gonna run this one up. It may not look that good, but this tastes amazing. It's so sweet. This meal right here has 45 grams of protein, 48 grams of carbs, and 24 grams of fat. Um, we're gonna go through what we had today. So we had rolled oats this morning with peanut butter and water. We had pasta after training with sauce, and then we had a sandwich with a smoothie at the end and a protein shake after training. So all of this comes up to 155 grams of protein, 226 grams of carbs, and 79 grams of fat. So my carb macros are 250. So I'm about 225 grams off, which is, it's not significant. Um, my protein, I'm trying to hit around, one for, around 140 to 160. So 155 is good. And my fat, I'm trying to keep my fat low, around 80 grams. Because a lot of plant-based food is naturally high in fat. Which is why I don't like cooking with oil. Because it just adds unnecessary amounts of fat. And it's really high in calories. Thanks for watching the whole video. And I hope you like this. Please like, subscribe, comment. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.